Welcome to Crazy Town's 10 Minutes or Less. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Dynamite, the explosive one. We're starting the timer. Boom. Let's get it moving. All right, dude. So, would you ever let yourself have a uh, sugar mama? Would you be like some like some ladies like sugar boy? What do they call like wait? What do they call boy? because it's sugar daddy, sugar baby. I'm pretty sure so if sugar it, it's, boy. It's sugar mama ain't sugar, the right term. Sugar mama, sugar boy. I just made it. No, I'll be a sugar boy. I'm pretty what, sure that's not right. What if she calls you sugar it. boy all the time? Mm. <laughs> hey, sugar boy. Oh God, how old are we talking though? I mean. Whatever, because like the, the the implication is that we're talking about an older woman here who is taking care of me. Obviously, it's not like Ariana Grande is going to pick me up and be like, "Oh, you're my new sugar boy." Because <laughs> guess what? <laughs> the the question, the answer to the question is a hundred times yes. If it's Billie Eilish, who rocks up and is like, "Ooh, I don't care if you're broke." <laughs> right, I just want you to be my man, and here's money. So we're talking about an older woman. Give me, give me an age. Probably, range. uh, I don't know, dude. It could be. I mean, it. And I guess does. Well, I guess here's the real question: Does that make a difference? So, like, if she's yeah. like seventy, or she's like, she's like forty six, and she's like, hey, yo, I want you to be my, uh, my sugar boy. Okay. See, the only reason that it makes sense is because I hate to even put it like this, but it, this works for women too. Is that there is a there's a uh, distribution of age to money that matters, okay? Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah. So if she's 150, I'm going to need the money to be like 200 million, you know? Right. Maybe, maybe, well, but, maybe but 30 it's like a, million. It's like a weekly allowance, though. That's how it works, I think, right? Well, she's paying me? Yeah. Oh, it's, she's just paying me for you're sex. You're like, you're I'm like, you're not even for sex, but like, you're her, like, you're her person. Her confidant. And then, you know, it, it, she gives you a weekly allowance so you can have. You and can, always including sexual. I, I would assume. Yeah. I, 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 I can't, I can't imagine that there's a sugar daddy, sugar baby relationship where they aren't having sex or okay. some sort of sexual. So, no, no dude is just going to be like, hey, here, honey, enjoy life. Here's fifty five hundred dollars a week for you. I mean, look, so if I'm an escort, which is what you're telling me, I'm an escort. Essentially, yeah. That's fine. Do I have a problem with being an escort? Absolutely not. I would treat that woman with the utmost respect, and I would give her whatever service she desired for whatever pay that I'm receiving. Would real feelings get involved? Possibly. I mean, over time, building. if she ends up yeah. being an awesome person and you can connect exactly. and whatever, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, I'm a human, so feelings might get involved. What if she treated you like crap? I mean, then, like I said, the distribution for money versus the Self situation. Self-respect and yeah. age. It, it, it's, 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 a, it's a pot of circumstances is what you're saying. Yeah. It's not just one. It could be, it's how do they treat you to how much money they get to how old they are to what you have to do. It, it all kind of. Yeah. Like, you're not going to dress me up in, in, in like bow ties and have me gallivanting <laughs> around your little plantation home. <laughs> Wearing suspenders and a bow tie, <laughs> taking you to the country club with a little sailor. Hat. <laughs> like, oh, I'll just have my my sugar boy go get it. Sugar boy, yeah. Help get some tea for the ladies, sugar boy. I gotta come over. Okay, so I, <laughs> yes, I, I, I just have to say, I, I would, I probably would do it too. Same circumstances. Now, yeah. the other, the caveat to that question is, if you were a rich dude, would you feel comfortable having a sugar baby? Would you have like? A, a woman that you just gave money to basically hang out with you and do things and whatnot. Oh, so I can afford it. Like, yeah, you're ri like, you have the money to do it. Like okay. say, you know, you're the same person you are now. You're, you're single, whatever, but you have like, and not even stupid, not like Bezos money, but you're, you have enough. Money. Say you make like, if you're saying is that money is not, uh, is no option when it comes to making this decision, would I do it? I would have to say that. Yes, but I would know what it is, you know? Right. Well, I think these old dudes who do that know what it is, but and they're then, like... And feelings kick in. Yeah. Well, well, yeah, then they, but then they fall for the girl who literally doesn't care about them at all, probably, because they're just paying for their rent. And But here's the thing. it Would you be okay with her just, like, living her own life, but, like, she just, like, if you're like, hey, I need to see you this week, that she comes to see you that week? Like, or would it be, like, you want her to be, like, your girlfriend that stays, you know, it's, oh, like... Oh, the GFE, the girlfriend experience? Yeah, like... Ah, man. I, see, I don't really want a girlfriend. So yeah, right, right. Ha, 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 joke's on you. 
Man, Jonah. See, I don't know. I guess it's kind of it's kind of shady when you think about it. Oh, it is. A thousand percent, dude. It's a like, shady it's, thing. It's a it's not a good look if you just have a girl and you're just like your friends are like, oh, man, where did you get this hot chick? Oh, you know, I'll give her ten thousand dollars a month and she hangs out with me whenever I ask. Yeah, and that would be the thing. It was like if you call her up, and then she like comes over and hangs out. We're like, hey, I, have, I need to go to this thing. We're going on Saturday, and like, but basically, you're the priority because like if you call her up and she's like, why am I already hanging out with my friends? I'm like, I need, I need someone you want to go that to 10K, don't you? I want, I need someone to go to this event with me. You need to be available when I'm available. You know, I don't know how that works. And if you, that's what escorts are. There's services for that. You need a hot woman for this event. Boom. Get you yeah, and, I, and I guess it's it's and it's, the sex is not even implied, but it happens, right? But I think the uh, I think the thing about it is is like it's all based in what you want it to be, and I think that all has to be laid out very clear up front about communication boundaries, what what's cool, what isn't, how like, and it's all based on the the money, and then yeah, yeah maybe do you? Because I know there's situations where a girl like somebody just kicks them an allowance every week. That basically allows them to have a, a job that they want rather than they need. You mm. know, they could like you gotta have a job that pays crap, but they love their job and allows them to have freedom to do things. And I would, if I was in that situation and a woman wanted to give me, say, hey, I'll give you five hundred bucks a week, so not enough to live on, but hey, you can have a job being a, a podcast host and make nothing and still live. And, but you love work and you can do all these free things. But you know, you're gonna spend your weekends with me. That's fair. That's I'd be fair. like. But I can still date whoever I want otherwise, but my weekends are gone. She's like, yeah. I'd be like, okay. I could probably, you know, it's like. It so would... you don't have anything against escorts? You don't think it's kind of like a. It's, no. It's, it's, escorts are like the Q-tip industry. Yeah. Where we know what you're really doing with the escorts. Yeah. But you're not supposed to but use I them like, like that. But I feel like in a weird way, I don't even know if it's a weird way. I feel strippers kind of offer the same service, the exotic dancers, whatever. But it's not like. I feel that there's people who like older guys. Who out here effing strippers? But man. not, but it no. But I feel like they can go to the strip club. They pay a nominal fee to get in, five dollars, whatever. Yeah. But you can go in and get attention from a from a hot woman. Yeah. And you can sit there and have good conversation, and you're not going to have sex with her. But if you want to see her naked and have her grind on you, you give her twenty bucks. She yeah, dances on you naked. There's a difference between a respectable business model, where is I'll show you my private parts for money, versus. <laughs> The thing of I'm going to be your little attention giver, and then uh, if you give me another 5K at the end of the night, then I'll have sex with you and your friends. Right. Which right. is kind of where escorts are. Yeah. Like, escort, yeah, like I said, they're like the Q-tips where you're not supposed to put them in your ears, but everybody's putting them in their ears. Right. I love how Q-tip says you shouldn't put this in your ear, and who doesn't? Exactly. Yeah. I mean, how do you yeah. clean your ears otherwise? No. One of those one of those squirt bottle things? They say you're supposed to use your finger. You're just jamming the wax deeper in your ear, dude. Like you're gonna have a you're, next next thing you know. know. I Anyways, don't know. but I I don't know. I think it's an interesting. Would Would you get an escort if you were a, a millionaire? Money is not not, not uh, an option. You know, it might be. You know, and I I've, I think I would because because here's the thing: if you enjoy being single, yes, but. Anyone who's single long enough, you get lonely. You know what I mean? Like, at, not all the time, so why, but why at times. Why can't you just go out there and make a friend like a normal person? Yeah, but if you want someone who will, you know, you can just, it is what it is. You're going to have a night. You're going to go out and have fun. They're going to wow. be, not even have sex, but like, be, be like, have like an emotional connection with somebody like that. And that's all you're looking for and you don't need it. And you, But some people don't want a but super the, close girlfriend is, sort of thing. Is it even real? Is it legitimate if it's just, you know? Perception's reality, dude. If for the night you have if per, if for a night you have a girlfriend and you have the girlfriend experience and you go home and you don't have to deal with it after that and she don't have to deal with it after that and you're both happy, what's wrong with it? Those were very, very prophetic words. I like that. <laughs> I like so, that. But, you know, for real, though, it's just like... No, you're right, but... I'm just saying is like I guess if it's if you know it's fake at the end of the night is it really going to be that cathartic? Well yeah, and it it depends what you're doing it for. If you're doing it because yeah. you're like super lonely and you want that thing and then you then you like become a stalker and yeah, yeah yeah but like some i could see i'll finish my thought we'll be done i could see some people who are business professionals are like i literally do not have time for a relationship but i would love to like go out with a beautiful woman and have a nice dinner and have a good time and maybe have some sex at the end of the night and then move on to a different city <laughs> the sex is illegal jonas <laughs> the sex isn't part of the transaction the sex is because they want to 
<laughs> yeah, it's a separate transaction on top of it. <laughs> right, right. So, but anyways, that's all the time we have for this episode. Go to thecrazytown.com and subscribe for Jonas. TNT. We are out. <laughs>